Gamer7 and welcome back to some more Sims 4 The Forgotten series. To start off with, if you notice, Fanteon is looking a little different. I did give them makeovers. There should be a makeover video that came out before this episode. So definitely make sure you go check that out to see all their makeovers come into uh, creation or whatever words. Also, as you can see, we're with Fanteon. This is not where I decided was originally planned on going. I actually was going to play out a little bit with some things going on with Dreon and Mechion. I could still probably fit those in this episode. But um, as I loaded in the game, I clicked on Dreon just to load into the house. But then I realized that uh, Fanteon here was at a build that I actually built on the channel and actually will be serving a purpose in the series. Uh, I'm not going to go into much details on that, uh, how it's going to play a role just yet, but I thought it was curious that she was there at the abandoned house because she is, um, I did make, basically, if you don't know the story behind the Forgotten series, I made, uh, my versions of what I thought Eevee would look like with her evolutions for the types that the official Pokemon doesn't have. And Fanteon is what is based off of a creation I made if Eevee was to have a ghost type evolution. So she's based off of that particular character, so she's sort of my own creation or whatever. So she is the ghost type, which <laughs> I find it funny that she went to an abandoned house. So I decided to switch to her control, and when I got here, I actually noticed she's in the cemetery. And she's, as you can see, not alone because there is a hand here. And awkwardly enough, she is with Haunter, who is a sim based off of another Pokemon, uh, an actual official Pokemon, which is a ghost type as well. So them in a graveyard is quite interesting that I have found them in. Also, this is the second time I'm doing this intro, so I do already have some interactions lined up to them. But then I realized I left my air conditioner on like an idiot. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so... She, uh, I guess I added him to the group already again. Whoops. <laughs> didn't have, if I didn't have the air conditioner on, you know, you would have saw all of that. But basically, you know, they're out here in the graveyard for whatever reason. So I was like, well, why not? Why not we see what, why, why are they even here in the graveyard? I'm not entirely sure. He's uncomfortable, but I'm pretty sure it's because of the rain, but I don't know why he just won't pull up an umbrella. That's Do we know? Us? We only know that he's active. What he's also a teenager, so she's out here hanging out with a teenager. Hey, where are you going? Hey, 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 where are you? Wait, are y'all going? You know what? Since he is uncomfortable, probably about the rain, why don't I make y'all actually go to the abandoned house that it says that y'all are supposed to be at? I'm assuming that even though they, she wasn't actually at the abandoned house, it considers it since it's the only lot on this island that is here. It's considering her... Um, being at this lot even though she was actually all the way in the graveyard so let me get them two to go inside the building so that he won't be standing in the rain and maybe he'll get a little <laughs> yeah let's let's just be creepy we're the we're the ghost that haunts this place apparently <laughs> that's what it is it's all my ghost pokemon sim versions that haunt this place that's that's the story uh, let's not shout forbidden words at haunter let's not do that y'all seem to be friends y'all are good friends yet you don't know his other trait let's figure out what his other trait is since you know we're out here hanging out with him uh also i failed to mention this time around that you know it's like four or five a.m in the morning and they're out at a graveyard hanging out i don't know if they were doing like ghost watching or whatever the heck they were doing but <laughs> they were doing something I, well, I mean, Rain talking is, is what I've seen. But <laughs> I don't know. They're weird. They're both ghost types. They're both not normal. So, I mean, I would imagine. Let's brighten his day. Let's try to get him back to being comfortable. I know he's soaking wet. But. Fish? Pando. Hunter should be aging. What? Aging up soon. But he is still a teen. So it's a little strange that, you know, she's hanging out with a teenager this late at night. I hope his brother doesn't mind. Because, uh, I do have Ghastly Haunter and Gengar. Ghastly's the youngest and Gengar's the oldest. Haunter's the middle one. And Ghastly and Haunter both should be... Oh, he's a cryptomania. Oh, but guess what? Guess, well, 
He has just dropped down to randomly do push-ups. But guess what we are as well? That's not where I go to find it. We are also a kleptomaniac. What? Was y'all still in something from the graveyard? Is that what y'all were doing? What are you doing? Oh, she's gonna use the bathroom. Oh, the plumbing still works in this place? Of course, you know, I don't know how these toilets function. Like, these old-timey toilets. Like, the ones that you pull the chain on. I've never seen one in real life. I know that they're old toilets, and that was the old style of toilets. But I've never actually seen one in per- are you, Don't walk into this bathroom, I'm peeing! I, oh, he's walking into this bath. He's walking into this bathroom. I am peeing! Oh, did she- Did she finish just in time? I think she finished just in time. Like, literally- She's like, okay, well, he's randomly washing his hands in this one. I'm gonna have to go wash my hands in another sink. I'm still wondering why there's running water in this place. Oh, hi. Oh, it's Music and Art Appreciation Day, which is one of my actual um, created holidays. I wanted to definitely have something that celebrated some of the creative create creativity stuff out there. So that is um, art and music spirit. Fantion loves this tradition because she's creative. You also have a party spirit. Drink, dance, and play music. Yeah. Guess what? Drink it. More drink. <laughs> There's two of them telling you to drink during music and art appreciation. So, you know, that's fun. Um, so, is there was like a boom. Yeah. Because this basically, this abandoned house is like teenagers have took it over. So we can listen. Should I make them listen to spooky music since they're in an aban abandoned house? Oh, and this song comes on. <laughs> uh, if you don't know, uh, I didn't see the towny life. Um where to go next the last one the it was where to go next too uh at the end of it i have chloe like dancing to the song and she actually randomly started dancing to the song while i was recording pieces for that uh so i decided that that was going to be the outro so the fact that that song has come on because i feel like that song seems like creepy but it also seems like it could be your everyday music but it's just sort of my type of like i would imagine it'd be a song that you hear because it's like Everything's not as it seems. Everything's a little messed up and a little crazy. Where has Haunter gone, though? Did he go upstairs? Okay, no. At least not that I see. What are we doing? We're gonna nap. I don't think we should be napping. Where did he go? Did he leave? Friend? Did you leave me here? Do I still have the go here together option? Okay, no, he's still somewhere. Oh, he's back here. What are you doing? Is he playing in the rain? Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't nap. Y'all should, like, dance together, because it's a music appreciation. Music and art appreciation, anyway. Go dance. Oh, it's a storm out. Get your butt inside! It's a thunderstorm out here! Huh? Oh, Clegg's yeah, enough. No. It's a, he, earlier he was uncomfortable about the rain, but it's actually apparently a thunderstorm because she's tense. Because, yeah, thunderstorm. So, just come in here and dance with me. Let's dance to the creepy music. Like, let's dance. I feel like my Halloween, if I do a Halloween special type thing, I should be at the Forgotten Family. Like, that's a must, I feel like. <laughs> so we're just, you know, we're dancing to this strange music. So, oh, we can blow horns because of music appreciation. Oh, are they talking? Oh, okay, they started talking on their own. That's cool. I don't want to go outside now. It's thunders, ah. thunderstorming, thunderstorming. What? <laughs> it's storming outside. I don't want to go out. Join Luma? <laughs> Get by ya. Spinet. Poker beret. I don't think the storms like my singing. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, get to know is one of the things that you could do. She's tense about these thunderstorms. Did I see someone walking outside though? Like, you crazy if you're walking outside right now! Oh, maybe it was a ghost. 
I got a dog. <laughs> I think the ghost dog is uncomfortable with life. You know, I never can catch the lightning. Like when it, you know, strikes. I never can catch it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe if I can, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? I want to catch it. You crazy, sir! I can't tell who that is. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I don't think it's one of my sims, actually, to be honest with you. I have never been to the lighthouse, actually. That is something I should probably do. I would like, the, you know, the whole light, light, lighthouse woohoo thing. I've never done that still. So I don't think I should be doing it with these two. Where did you get those drinks from? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. drinks come from <laughs> I mean y'all are doing the whole appreciation of music and art appreciation for drinking part of it but where did they come from and technically I'm pretty sure since you know Hunter's a teenager he's underage so Fanteon you shouldn't be giving him drinks <laughs> get in trouble <laughs> also it's like eight something I'm pretty sure everyone else is like, where the heck is Fanteon? <laughs> like, you're supposed to be taking care of rice, Fanteon. I did think about changing Fanteon's type because, like, type? Top? Originally, because I thought... I started to give her one bathing suit and I was like, no, I don't think she'd wear that because, like, yeah, she's... She's definitely one of the more unique sims and the stranger sims out there have and more likely to actually test the boundaries of some things but at the same time I think she would take raising rice a little bit seriously so I don't think she would have wore that so I was thinking about changing the top but I did not I probably will change that at some point <sighs> she, she's really loving this whole music and art appreciation thing man she's like yeah confetti uh, anyway, I think I'm actually going to like, I don't know, I might let her, st I might just leave and take control of um, one of the other sims at the house and just, you know, leave her here to do her thing and... Ah! No! Nope! I don't like it. I don't like it. But yeah, I think she's getting sleepy though, so I probably should just, like, you know, let her go home. No, she's gonna take a nap. She's like, nope, done with life. <laughs> and Hunter's just, you know, I don't know what he's like, but, you know. He seems to be pretty confident about something. I don't know what, that may just be, you know, he probably has school. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, MCC. Uh, yeah, he has school. He should be going to school. Go home, Fanta again. I'm gonna make her go home because she's getting sleepy, and Hunter should actually be going to school anyway, so I shouldn't tempt him to try to stay here. Though, technically, I did make them a group, so he might just follow her home for all I know. Oh, you're gonna do that weird thing where you walk a little bit? Oh, goodness gracious. We'll be here a while. I'll see you when she gets back home. Okay, so we've got Fanteon back home where it is not raining, but I mean, they live in Oasis Springs. Let's face it, it almost never does anything here. But sun! <laughs> so, gonna let her go to bed. Did I see a still? Still? Still and Rice is the only ones that didn't get makeovers in the video. Partially because there's not much you can do to a dog. Are you really hunt still over here? <laughs> but yeah, there's not much you can really do to a dog. And Rice aged up not, like, too, too long ago. So his outfits are still pretty new um, to the series. So I didn't worry about them. You know, I haven't done much with Arachneon lately, but... Plans are not with you. Plans are with Dreon and Megion, mainly. So, with Dreon, some time has technically passed in the sim world. Because I am switching back and forth. I play one, I go and record one EV episode, then go to a Forgotten, then back to an EV. So, some time technically is passing by every time that we um, go to a new house. I haven't seen anyone's, like, I haven't actually uploaded the video where I ask about the whole thousand dollars when I first load into the game to represent the money they've made while I've been at gone and they've sort of been doing their own thing when I've been at a other house. So I still don't know everyone's opinions on that just yet. But, um, 
I did actually go and send a... Why is... Oh, I'm going to have to reset. Because it turned him to... I did it in cast, so it turned him to an old adult, but it didn't put his age down there. I don't know if he has enough... Oh, he does. Okay, let me do that real quick before I forget, because I know I'll forget. It should be all the way down at zero. But I, I changed it in cast, so I guess it didn't register. <laughs> Whoops. Let me just uh, do that real quick. Oh, you should be going to work, dude. <laughs> Apparently that's still <laughs> drinking the potion of use is still part of music and art appreciation. And then you need to go to work. Actually. So I guess I won't be doing anything with you just yet. So I I'll wait. Let's see. Does he go to work today? Ah! You need to be going to work too. Okay! <laughs> hey. Hey, Megan. You, you, got you gotta go to work. Doesn't that mean she should... Oh, no, she's <laughs> off today. Usually she goes to work around the same time those two do, but I guess, like, the days are slightly different. Though she's still in her work outfit. Hello? Why would? Why are you asking Fanteon, Cassie? And also Fanteon's sleep. Otherwise, maybe she would just, you know, hang out. Oh, okay, someone's... Sparon would like to come over and hang out. Sure, come on, dude. <laughs> come on over. That's fine. We have a broken sink. He's just, <laughs> Vinion's just like, huh, I guess someone should fix that. Huh. Huh. Well, too bad, you gotta repair it. <laughs> because we're at a point where we could be getting low on, oh, dang it, why do I come to this house and everything's always broken? Okay, I'm just replacing that because I can't repair that. They have so many broken things in their house all the time. I can't leave y'all alone. Oh, apparently she loves the um, party spirit because she's outgoing. What is, do you love anything in particular? No, you're okay with everything. You can't do these things because you can't drink. That's your sole main reason why you can't do those things. Dreon doesn't love anything and Mechion doesn't love anything. They like them, but they don't love them. So. Anyway, she should be repairing the... Um, Fridge. He's repairing the sink. Hey! Why are you embarrassed? What have you done? We did recently learn that Sparion has kids, but he hasn't told anyone in his family, so... Oh. Why the heck have you just gotten angry? From Oh. I guess he just came in here and, like, splashed all over the place, and now, now, they're, now they're both mad. Great. Listen... People in this family sometimes can't control their emotions or their feelings still, so you don't need to be making them angry all of a sudden. Because they don't even have to be angry in the first place to, like, go berserk. Okay? Especially Sparion. But vinion has been known to randomly fight his siblings, too, so... They could be the best of buds, and he's like, I want to fight! It's not even, like, neighborhood brawl or anything. Oh, okay, oh, okay, was that really, that, was that necessary, Vinion? Was that truly necessarily? Oh, goodness. Still, you need to seriously, like... <laughs> recommend Hank, oh, hey. <laughs> One of Dreon's investments has lost a lot of money, and it will reflect poor poorly on him if his boss finds out. There's a good chance that he can make it look like someone else was the fault. Thus avoiding the fallout, what will he do? Uh, if this was the Eevee family, and basically almost anyone in the Eevee family would just go ahead and accept it. But this family tends to not properly do things sometimes. I hey, think you? he would try to Watch pass it on. Dreon uses some accounting trickery to make it look like a different trader was responsible for the loss. It's not honest, but you have to look out for number one, right? Yeah, well, let's just hope that person doesn't get mad at him or whatever it is. Okay. Vinion's just completely angry now. But she's still working on... Okay. Well, we fixed that issue. But I need you to, like, scavenge for parts, and then we'll throw it away, and then we'll throw this away, because, you know, otherwise still is going to wreak havoc on everything. 
and, you know, make people mad. <laughs> so, let's not do that. Okay, I can't do, like, my two main things that I was planning on, so I think I'm just gonna let time speed up. Oh, look at Rice being a good kid. He's doing his homework. Such a good kid. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let time go on. Hope that Sparion doesn't decide to randomly attack someone. <laughs> okay, so Mekion and Dreon both have come back home. Uh, I have Dreon taking a shower because I had him go on a jog because he wasn't the happiest when he came back from work. He's still not, like, super happy, but he's getting there. But I realize they still have bills to pay that they can't actually afford. So I'm really going to get everyone else to, like, uh, work on this stuff for work. Oh, he should be going to work. Okay, you should be going to work. You should be going to work. You should not be awkwardly staring at your sister. You should be going to work. Okay. Fantheon, is there anything you could be doing? There is stuff you could be doing. Listen, Fantheon, we need money. I mean, it looks like she's got a stash of money there, though. Technically. <laughs> um, uh, program. Hack. There. Do that. Oh, is he outside? He's outside. Oh, yeah, he's with Steel. <gasps> no. Steel is so cute. Okay, anyway. Okay, hello? I was wondering if... It, no. I don't, actually. Okay. So, Dreon... It's going to call over two particular people. Uh, da, da, da. I don't know if one of them will actually come. But we're going to invite, uh, if, which for some reason he's a bit heavy now, uh, <laughs> Aphrodite and Jay over. So I was basically asked a few of my friends um, about, like in real life and over on Twitter, like, just sort of sent them a little message explaining things. I didn't have names, but I just explained things. And basically, I acted like they were the responses of the, his siblings to talk this over with. The whole situation with Aphrodite and Jay and, like, what he should do. And everyone was in greets on the same... <laughs> Look at little Jay, he's so cute. Okay, just knock your child over, basically. That's that's cool, Aphrodite. They were sort of, they were all basically in agreement um, on the whole situation. I think, in some degrees, like maybe if there was a few things done on one end, maybe they'd be like, eh, maybe either one would be fine. But everyone seems to think it would be best if. Jay is actually with his dad versus the mother. So I guess we're going to be adding Jay to the household as well here as long as Aphrodite doesn't come after us. Um, <laughs> where did she go, though? I mean, I will say she instantly jumped into our bathroom. Okay. Listen, don't go use the bathroom because she's in there. Let's, you know, just, you know, go talk to him in the meantime. Uh, because... Apparently, you know, she's like, I'm going to go soak in a bath with some weird purple glowing bubbles and a mud mask or whatever you want to call it. So we'll just talk to the kid yeah. who's absolutely adorable and also apparently had red hair not too long ago. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically the decision. And like I said, I treated the like they were like he talked to his siblings. Oh, I did not mean to click on you. And their responses were basically how the si how I would imagine the siblings were responding to them, basically. I could have done a poll, but I was sort of, when I was uh, deciding this, I hadn't decided whether or not, at the time anyway, I hadn't decided whether or not I was going to do the polls that way. And also, I sort of just quickly sent that out. <laughs> so we're going to go talk to her. And... Um, yeah, we're not going to ask her to move in. Let's not have a deep conversation with her. Be like, hey, like, you know. 
your house doesn't really have like a whole lot of room in it and even if you make a room we don't don't really see how you'd make a room and he still gets a sewing machine why drayon you shouldn't do this you like, just leave it be leave it be dude she obviously is not as into you as you are her so i think it's best you just leave it be but anyway be like talking like hey you don't have much room in your house and you have the other kid and you seem to have a lot going on and she didn't really pay attention to either one of the children it seemed to be her roommates who were paying attention to both of the kids <laughs> playing about sunny later <laughs> and just be like you know I think it would be more stable and best with me, but I think Dreon also would be at the standpoint of like, if for some reason it doesn't work out, or if you think that it's not going well, or you think it would be better for him to move back with you, we'll definitely discuss that. Like, I don't think he would like necessarily force this on her, and I don't think he would necessarily force Jay not to be able to live with her. Also, we may like when he gets older, maybe we'll decide to do like a week by week thing or whatever, or two weekly by thing or something. So. There's also that option. But there's also at least another kid in this household. So it's like we've they've sort of got this household's got a little bit of experience with kids, at least to a certain extent. So, um you know, just uh yeah, I don't know. We'll just yeah, just talk to her. Talk with her. Jay's more interested in talking about ducks though. I still haven't changed this house to, from New Year's Eve. But I mean look at him, he's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, He's so adorable. How about a brosy? I will say his skin tone, I think, is like an in between of those two. But this child was doomed to have black hair. But it does look like he might have some wavy hair, which probably comes from his mother. Who doesn't seem to be she doesn't seem to have a problem with us talking about Jay maybe staying here. So she doesn't seem to mind the whole situation. Oh, okay, okay, you're really Kimball close. Fry. Yeah. Oh, looks like she's <gasps> still. <laughs> still steals the show. Okay, anyway. She seemed to be asking what he was, like, talking to him. Oh, and sh she is hacked the little Wario, I think. Did you go use the bathroom? Yeah, he did. <laughs> he had to pee really bad, so I would imagine that he did. So... Let's, you know, go and, like, you know, um, I think she's talking to him right now, but I'm gonna come and steal the child from you. Not really steal, technically, but, you know. Why is he sad? Oh, because of the work thing. Right. You're in my way. Like, like you're in my way. You seem to be paying more attention to him now than you was earlier. Maybe, maybe like, this discussion has actually made her think about the fact that she doesn't interact with her kids as much. Maybe she's like, wait, maybe I should interact with them some more. Oh, no, no, no. He's so cute. Okay. I just really like toddlers. They're adorable. Not gonna lie. But I think, oh, now he's very playful, apparently. So, I think, you know, we're gonna, uh, wait, how many people, let me make sure I have yeah, I have room for one more sim. No more sims after this. I mean, technically I have it set to where I can have up to 10 sims, but that's like not to totally limit my sims from maybe having more family members or, you know, something going on where I need to add a fam uh, sim for a temporary purpose or whatever. So, but I can't go into create a sim that way. So that's the only thing with that issue. So, uh... But no babies. That that would mainly be Arachneon and Fanteon at this point. I mean, technically, you know, Mechion and Vineon could have a kid, but more likely, at least to start with, it would be with the mother. But as in this case, particularly, sometimes they can end up with the father. Actually, that's happened a few times uh, now. Now that I think about it. Anyway, we're gonna add him to the family. Uh, there he is. Ah. Mishi over. Dish, dish. <laughs> the thing the pops up for him. <laughs> He's so cute. What is going on with my shorts? Okay. So, 
He's now Mufasa, a part of Satoru. this as well. <laughs> he seems to have about an equal relationship uh -huh. with both of his parents. So, I mean, they're not high, neither one of them. So, I mean, that's not good on either end. But the thing is, is that Dreon's is about equal with Aphrodite's when he lived with Aphrodite. I don't know how much that is saying. What is he doing? Oh, he's gonna go dance wherever he's at. But, so, Jay has moved into the household. I'll fix this room up for him, which temporarily has this table in it, which they just basically stored that in there because they had all this going on. So when I go to remove this, I will set up little Jay's room for him. Um, but, you know, he, he might, like, be eventually, like, once he turns a kid, where he's... You don't want to move a toddler around too much, but once he becomes a kid and, like, is a little bit older, maybe he'll have the... <laughs> maybe he'll move back and forth in between Aphrodite and Dreon's house. But the thing is, like, she has to make a room for him if that's going to be the case. Because when we were there, he didn't even have a room. Neither one of the kids had a room. <laughs> and she has two now, but one is by, with another guy, so... Which is... Cena? Is that how you would say it? Oh. And Vinion's home. And he's got the child. Ooh, that's what, what are you doing with the child? Vinion, what are you doing with the child? Why did you bring the child outside? <laughs> he's like, no, I don't want to be outside! I want to be inside! Maybe he was just showing Fantion, like, hey, look, our nephew now lives with us. I don't know. I don't know what that was. Hey, Vaporeon, how you doing? Hey, Sylveon, how you doing? Uh, I don't know why. It actually makes family members like look like they're mad at each other when they walk by. When they definitely shouldn't be. But anyway, um, I think since it is music and art appreciation, I might end up making this video too long. I wasn't prepared for Fantion to be somewhere else. Um, anyway, I think what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna plan a dance party. I wasn't originally how I was gonna do this, but, um, I think we will do a dance party since it is music and appreciation. I'm gonna leave Dre on home just because, um, Jay did just move into the house. And I feel like Dre on would at least take enough responsibility, like, yeah, I'm gonna stay home. Jay's too, definitely too little to be, um, on his own. At this point. But granted, they could technically hire Nanny, but since he just moved Jay in, I don't think he would do that. I think he would let Jay get used to being here first. Oh, hi, Peanut. So, I'm going to go through and click a bunch of people to invite to this event. I know I can't invite, like, a whole lot of people because it has, like, a limit. I don't even know what the limit is, but... Yeah, we're going to have a little party for music and art appreciation since it is, like, a dance, music, artsy thing. And I have other plans, but you'll see those in a minute. All right, so they're all out here, and oh well, Arachneon, that is not what you should be dancing in. I am just gonna point that out right now. <laughs> um, all right, I actually didn't bring most of, like, it didn't bring none of the family members except for Mechion, because that's who I was controlling at the time. So I actually had to bring them. <laughs> afterwards and some of the yeah, people yeah. are still coming through and some of them are going to be randomly spawned as well like Amazing. we didn't invite charlotte i don't know if i clicked on clarion i don't think i did but yeah so some people are here dancing and enjoying a good time oh hey lynn oh hey evie how y'all doing evie always looks so happy <laughs> well i say always not really. There has been times where she has looked a little not so happy. But anyway. So, those are the people that originally showed up, but I invited quite a few people. I think it was um, almost 20 people originally, and you can only have 8 people in a group, so... Uh, it wasn't exactly 20, but it was close to 20. But 
So yeah, everyone's like, you know, out here enjoying the fact that it's music and art appreciation. I don't know what's going on with Vinion. He just got a negative with someone. I just saw that here, too. I think it was Robin, because it's red now. Oh, well, I don't know. It may have been red before. I'm not really entirely sure. There's Xander. I definitely know Xander wasn't one that I clicked. My ear is itching. Um, but Boy, one yeah. of the people, oh, yes. apparently so this music is really boring. Because a few people are feeling bored by it, so... Um, but... Uh, is there some people upstairs too, just out of curiosity? Yeah, there is. Oh, hey, I didn't even know you were here. Person? Addison? <laughs> Person? You don't have a name, apparently. Oh, Tony's here. You know, I hadn't actually seen Tony much since Glaceon basically was a horrible person to him. But we just won't talk about that too much. Oh, this may be awkward. Because I know um, Cindy dated Carrie at one point. But now she's with Anja. <laughs> so anyway, but back to... Um, I did actually particularly invite one particular person because the fact that I noticed that apparently well, did, did a bat fly in or did someone zoom past the screen really really quickly I feel like I just saw a black blur somewhere <laughs> oh wait there is a vampire right there <laughs> oh wait that's Dante uh, Arachnion and him I think had a fight at one point I don't know oh if God, it's good that he's like, yeah. So. But anyway! Anyway, anyway, anyway. Distractions. Hey, Cassie. <laughs> Apparently, you and Mekion have flirted behind my back. So, why don't we get Mekion to go over and talk to Cassie? And such. So, go over there. Go and talk to her. She's apparently talking to your cousin and Marie as well. So, Tarion's out! Oh wait, I invited her. That's why. <laughs> I told her to come out. But her other siblings are here too, and you notice she's staying in the back. She's not in like the big crowd of people. Cause that's just, you know, that's not, that's not her thing. So she's in the big crowd of people. She's not, uh... Well, she's not in the thing. I don't know what I just said. But anyway, Cassie. <laughs> Let's have Mekion talk to you some more. Apparently, Tarion has backed out of this conversation. She's like, nah, never mind. I'm not talking anymore. Why don't you just, you know, compliment her outfit? And, uh, hey, Ragnar, how you doing? <laughs> and ask her about her day. Harmony. And, um, you know, I guess, you know, you can compliment her pants. Tell her she looks pretty tonight. I like how Marie is just sort of awkwardly sat over here this, most of this time. Oh, Gengar has showed up. <laughs> hey. Wait, is Fanteon and Fanteon? Who is Fanteon talking to? Wait. <laughs> She's talking to her siblings, like. You have other people- Oh, Peach has showed up. Anytime Peach shows up anywhere, I get a little paranoid. I'm like... Cause I'm like, oh no. Oh no. Engage has showed up too. And Indra's here! Like, so many people are here. And uh, this is one of my nieces sims, Savannah. She's here. We got a Luna. We got Koo. We got Valrona. Oh, and got another one of my other nieces sims, Diamond, is also up here. Okay, this seems like more sims than I thought my game would allow, but oh, right, that's fine, that's cool. Okay, so let's get back over to this conversation over here and like actually. Okay, let's you know actually have back on talk to Cassie and not Phantom because why would it be Phantom? <laughs> Though Cassie did invite Phantom to come over to our house the other. Um, earlier, before, um, we've already complimented our outfit technically. I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure she would like being complimented on her outfit more than once. But uh, do do we know do we know much about Cassie? Like, 
Steve Bombs. We don't know her last trait. We gotta figure out her last trait. Let's, let's figure out her last trait here. Because I mean, I feel like if you're really gonna go down this romantic route here, you need to figure out her third trait at least. So where's like discuss interest? Okay. Oh, it's past two a.m. <laughs> is over. Oh, it was awful for Vinny on. <laughs> but it's fine. Was it awful for anyone else? I wasn't paying attention as much. I should have since it was successful for Fantion. It was awful for Dreon. It wasn't awful for anyone else but Dreon and Vinion, but I mean, hey, at least not everyone got awful. And now he's oh, who is he talking? That is an alien. There was only one alien that I knew of in this room. Which is her. But I don't know. She doesn't seem to be in their conversation, and I don't see any other alien. Oh wait, there's an alien here too. Duh. But still, they're nowhere near this conversation. Anyway, whatever. So, I just want to see if they actually will continue to flirt or not. Like, I don't want to try to push it too much. I mean, they did it on their own before. So... Arvini. But they seem to be too busy dancing. Let me just try to push it a little bit more and see if anything happens. Let's go ahead and flirt. We'll see how that goes. Well, Fantion seems to have started talking to Haunter again. And why is she shocked about- oh, is it because he's flirting? Wait, is everyone surprised that Mekion is flirting? Like, oh my god! <laughs> is he actually flirting? He done it once before, it just didn't work out. <laughs> also, if I was Andreon, I'd be a little concerned that, you know, her girlfriend is talking to her ex. I mean, not Andreon's ex. Cindy is talking to her ex. You know what I'm trying to say, why is it a lot of people have stopped dancing? What's going on? Oh, Glaceon is here! Glaceon was actually the one that, um... Mekion tried to flirt with a little bit before. There's so many si Oh, Nicole's here. Hey, Nicole! How you doing? There is more Sims here than I thought would be here. I like how Clefairy and Gengar were near each other there. I sort of want to put them together, I'm not gonna lie. Just because, you know, Clefairy and Gengar are supposed to be almost like Clefairy Shadow, supposedly. Um, <laughs> I almost want to put them together just because of that. My bar has glitched out up here for whatever reason. I'm not really quite sure, but he's only talking to Cassie now. But, you know, I feel like if this was Cassie in real life and there was a guy, no matter if she liked him and was attracted to him, she'd feel really awkward of him flirting with her in front of all these people. But she is all to the side over here, so maybe, maybe that's why. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna get away from the people. Then it will be mildly okay. But, uh, so that's sort of funny, but there's so many people here. Hey, Jolteon's here! <laughs> so many people. And I did not invite- I literally invited, like, it was somewhere in between 15 and 20 people. As I invited. Most of these people have just showed up. Cause, I guess because it was music and art appreciation, maybe? I don't know, this is a lot of people. Like, so- oh, it fixed itself. Yay! <laughs> He's still awkwardly standing a little bit further away from her. I still don't trust these. Like, I don't I don't trust any of this. Let's be all oh, their uncles here. <laughs> That's awkward. Also We know Sparion, like I said, Sparion has a child and one of the children has child he has children. And one of them's mothers I seen here or there. Yep, there she is. There she is. Okay, are y'all like... Y'all are too awkward. Oh, hello. <laughs> Both of y'all are too awkward. Like, this is not progressing at all. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> it, it looks like Fantion's over here talking to Ku and Haunter and 
Adrian, I don't know who we're acting out if she's talking. She's not talking to anyone. Is Vinny on talking to anyone? Vinny on's not talking to anyone either. <laughs> They're just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> we just want to dance. Okay, everyone, everyone stop dancing. But I think I'm going to go ahead and start getting ready to end this episode here. I'm going to just, you know, I was hoping that maybe they would start doing some things on their own. Oh, the first kiss option has popped up, though. And maybe, you know, see where that goes. But they seem to be more in a fun party mood versus a romantic mood and are basically not doing anything on their own. Um, I haven't really done anything but flirt and compliment appearance because I didn't want to go too far. I didn't, I wanted them to basically try to do it. Um, maybe, maybe we can do a that that's risky but he is confident so we can see if that works that that's all the influence i'm gonna have over the oh cindy has passed out and she's still near terry here but <laughs> terion please do not sit on cindy please i oh terion's like i don't like this anymore i'm not comfortable i'm not comfortable she probably wants to go home she probably is really wanting to go home at this point <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. At least Arachneon has not gotten to a fight with everyone. Everyone's like lagging out. Vineon is smelling though, so he probably needs to have like a shower. Like, may oh, okay, there's a black poof of smoke in front of me. But it wasn't Dante, because Dante's right there. Oh, they're really close to each other. Like, that is just a disaster waiting to happen. But, um, has... Has he done the bold pickup one? No, he hasn't. That's the one I'm concerned about. I'm afraid that he's gonna, like, mess up on that one. Badly. But, um... You know, I'm gonna end this one here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If so, please let... Please let me know and hit that lovely like button. And subscribe to see future episodes. Um, let me know down in the comments below how you think this thing with Mechion and Cassie is going. Um... Cassie is now flirty, so maybe it's finally starting to go somewhere, but I don't know. It seems to be going a little slow. Um, also, these two are still concerning me, but um, oh well. Uh, <laughs> and let me know how you feel about Jay moving into the house, and do you think, you know, Dreon's doing the right thing? Do you think he can handle it and still actually focus really hard on his career at the same time? And also... What is, you know, Fangion being a weirdo be going into a graveyard at 4 a.m. in the morning with Haunter? <laughs> so let me know how those, how you basically think of everything and how the episodes transpired. Let me know if you have um, any opinions on things that we should do for this these families and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and end this event, let everyone leave because people are starting to get uncomfortable and such. So I'm going to let people start going home. Of course, you know, Fantion's gonna creep around here. I probably should click on Mechion because I feel like he's gonna be the last one to leave. But all of my Sims 4 playlists will be down in the description below as well as my social media, so go follow me on those. I will be posting periodic polls every once in a while over on my Twitter asking for things that might influence this series or the Eevee series. You may not know who I'm talking about or anything like that, but it will be something that somehow influences the series. But, um, so just keep an eye out for those. Mechion, you can, you can go home. So can you, Vinion. Y'all can go home. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!